Hello guys, and welcome to my unboxing of the AudioLab 8300 CD CD player. Uh, this is actually a one part video that asks two questions. One, is the CD player any good? I guess I'll come back to that in a review. But two, can I trust hyphifreaks.dk, which is the Danish firm I've been talking about earlier. Uh, so let's see how that goes. Okay, so this is the box, and uh, I guess I can go through it with you guys while I unbox this thing. I found this invoice, I don't think I need that. It's the address of me and them. Uh, I found Hyphy Freaks on Facebook, actually. It was a commercial uh, that they had on Facebook. Yeah. And they don't have a store or anything like that. But what they do have is a 30-day return warranty. So they tell me that I get to test my uh, this equipment out in my own home. Uh, and if I don't like it, I can return it within 30 days as long as the casing is alright and it looks okay. So that's why... That's also why I'm doing this unboxing video, because I can watch... How I did it, so I can unbox it back the way it was. It's, it's uh, one of the more sturdy boxes I've opened in my life. And the reason for that is probably because they put plastic all over the box here. So my working conditions, they ain't optimal, I must admit, but hey, at least I know the CD player hasn't gotten any air all the way from Denmark. But many of the, or some of the customers complain about getting faulty equipment uh, and stuff from them. But of course there's also a lot of people who are very happy about their purchases from Hyphy Freaks. So I thought I'd try them out myself. And up till now it looks promising. This is the manual. Yeah. Uh, I've already had a glimpse uh, of the manual on the web. Uh, it's really straightforward stuff, really. But this CD player is a bit more advanced than your usual CD players. Uh, you get your balanced outputs here. And you get some uh, options to actually turn this uh, CD player into a sort of a receiver for other sources and stuff, and it uh, will deliver in high quality. Uh, there's also a driver CD in here. Uh, I don't know why the hell I would need this. I'm not installing the CD player on a PC. I'm gonna use it standalone, but hey, nice that they included it just the same. It's also your usual bags for collecting moisture in case of that happening uh, on travel. I can't see any moisture in here, so let's move those out of here. Let's see what this is. I would guess this is the power supply. Uh, I'm wondering if this is the same type of power supply uh, in Denmark as they use in Norway and yeah it is 
which is cool. Your standard power supply there. Yep. And what was that? Oh yeah, batteries. Batteries, awesome, nice. Uh, and there's also a remote in here, I think. Uh, I thought it was gray, but it turns out it's black. So it's probably the opposite for uh, the black player then. Because I received a picture on the net of a gray remote. It really doesn't matter though, it's just colors. But, hey. Uh, you probably can't see this because there's a light in the back here, but let's try to light this baby up. Yeah, so you got a mute button there, and you got your numbers, and you got a uh, program. Uh, you probably can't see much of this anyway, but. And there's loads of stuff. And there's also a filter button here, which gives you a few options on the sound, which is cool. And there's also a time button. That's nice. And I ho I'm hoping that my new CD player now uh, plays uh, the time backwards so I can see how much time there's left on a track because my current CD player from Nod, I don't know, I don't remember it's the C542 it currently can't do that so that's a bit of a shame but the Nod player has been a good player so I have no complaints there and it cost me a 4000 kroner this CD player cost me 7,000. Come to think of it, the map player actually costs 4,500. But without further ado, there's nothing left in the box here. As you can see, we're gonna unveil the CD player. And I'm kind of excited actually because it's really much more heavy, this CD player now, than my NAD. So I'm really looking forward to unboxing this, and I ho I'm hoping that I haven't gotten the black one because then I <laughs> then I actually have to return it on default because I ordered the silver one. But Hyphy Freaks DK, yeah, no store, just a web-based service. You go into the web page .dk or .nl or .se, and you order stuff from them and. Uh, well, we'll see, we'll see the result very soon. The reason why I'm so careful opening this is, uh, compared to my previous unboxing videos is because of the return policy. I don't want to ruin it too much if I have a need to return it. But up until now it's been it's been a really good experience. Let me just So I, I have to tear this up to open it. There's, oh, there's tape here. Yeah. Okay, so... I guess this is it, guys. Wish me luck. Okay, so this is the player, the 8300 CD, and there's no, uh, uh, there's no drawer coming out here, so you put the CD in the slot here, and that should work out just fine. That's the display, and you also got a selection of buttons here, which is nice and the power button, which is also quite cool. Uh, the build quality feels excellent. And on the back here, it's a more 
powerful and powerful uh, power supply. You can tell that by this. The other one just has a usual junk. And yeah. I was wondering what these were, but it seems that they are normal uh, RCA outputs. But I'm more interested in the balanced outputs here. Yeah. And there's also a digital yeah and there's also inputs in here uh, USB and your optical inputs and coaxial if you need that and there's also a trigger option um just gonna check on the back of my knot here that I haven't fucked it up completely. And indeed I have not because on my blood elise right here, if I said not, I'm sorry about that. I got the opposite connections. So yeah. A word on the cables I bought for this thing, because I can tell you a little bit what I have before. Uh, this CD player right here costs 4,500 kroner. Uh, the wire connected to the CD player, uh, which is that now? Okay. It's this right here. It's from Pure AV. Costs approximately hundred dollars. Not much more than that. Probably eighty dollars, hundred dollars, something like that. Yeah, but it has provided me good sound. Uh, but I want the epic experience now from the CD player, so I've gone well a couple of notches up the scale I have bought the same cables as I have on my system audio speakers at the moment and that's the Norost Heimdall 2 yeah or to be more precise Norris Norris Heimdall XLR. Yeah. So there you go. So when I'll be comparing these speakers, I'll be comparing just that. So this CD player, four thousand five hundred kroner. This CD player. 7,000 but it's at half price so actually it cost 14,000 new or originally and these are the XLR cables I'll be connecting to the CD player which is cables for a thousand kroner no a thousand dollars so that's nine thousand kroner right there yeah so yeah but I'm guessing this will be epic I'm hoping that'll be epic. I'm hoping I'll be hearing a difference from the knob CD player to this. And I'll be giving you a report on that very shortly, because I wouldn't think these need any breaking in the cable, maybe a little bit. But I'm pretty sure I'm gonna hear a subtle difference just by flipping the switch. Yeah. Oh well, that's a bit. That's uh. All there is to say for now, uh, my audio file tendencies will never end, it seems. So I'm happy to have a wife who's got the patience, patience she has. Yeah. Hope you're having a nice day wherever you are and drinking coke or doing whatever you're doing and using your skateboard to the mall 
and meeting your friends there, and your girlfriend's pretty shy, so you got to do something about that. Okay, well, take care of yourself, and have a nice one. Bye-bye. And a quick look at the manual. I'm just going to turn to the most important page here. And this is the balanced output. Balanced connections provide greater dynamic headroom and improved SN ratio. I don't know what that means. If your amplifier has greater dynamic headroom, input uses the... No. If your amplifier has a greater dynamic headroom input, use the... Am I reading correctly? If your amplifier has a greater dynamic headroom input, uses the balance connections. Yeah, okay, some bad English there, I would assume. You need one XLR balance cable per channel. Uh, yeah, I think I got that, yeah. Uh, the socket connects to the player and the plug normally connects to the amplifier. Yeah. So that's the more, most important thing I need to master with this player. Because if I don't, then I'm screwed up, and that's not good. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. There we go. I'm not going to turn the plastic off here. You can't see this, guys, but there's plastic on the display here. But if I'm going to return it, then... Uh, oh, well. Okay, let's get this show on the road. Let's test these babies out. What I'm going to do... Uh, both CD players are connected to my amp now. Uh, that's how good this amp is. <laughs> so now I'm gonna play one CD on my old amp with my old connections from NAD and then I'm gonna play the same CD and the same track on this new CD player with my new connections. Everything is connected so my first CD player will be powered by these hundred dollar cables well my new CD player that costs three times as much will be powered by these thousand dollar cables right here so let's get this show on the road and since I don't want any copyright infringement crap on YouTube I'm gonna play my own music sorry guys and I'm gonna play Life 5. Yeah, there we go. It's Sonitra style. Yeah, Sonitra Life 5. It was released on mp3.com at the time. Yeah. And we're gonna look at the. Whoops. We're gonna look at the awesome art cover right here. Which I. I made myself here. The unknown is a place with no map, but no one, but one don't know what's beyond if one doesn't travel. Yeah. Which is quite true. Fifty nine minutes, yeah. Eleven tracks. Awesome. And we're gonna play Ascending Fog, track three. And now we're gonna turn on this little ES thing. So I'm gonna check out if I have balance two here. That's balance one. 
That's bounce two. So now I know that bounce two is the other CD player. Okay. Great. Track three. There we go. Okay. A little bit over a minute played of the track. I'm kind of excited actually right now. It's on volume 18, yeah? Probably should get some batteries on the remote now. If it's not too complicated, let's do that. I'm going to leave that remote. Audio Lab. Hi, Fee Freaks. Don't let me down, man. Oh, yeah, it's a simple mechanism here. Awesome. Okay. Right. Simple enough, really. So now I turn it on here, I think. Whoa. Okay. DB minus 20, what's that about? Is there a volume button here? Okay. Okay, so I can actually turn off volume on the remote, on the CD player. Okay, that's a bit, okay. So then I can't trust the volume on this thing anymore because I got my own volume control on this thing. Uh, turn this CD player off now. And I should just put it in here, right? Oh, nice, okay. It's reading it. Okay. Uh, okay, so now I have to put on balance. Clicking on source here. Uh, balance too. Okay, let's test this out then. <laughs> I'm pretty excited actually now. This will actually tell me if I return this player or not. So let's see. Click on three here. Yeah, I think so.
I can't hear much of a difference, to be honest. Sharp roll off. Slow roll off. Filter option was quite cool actually. Turn it up, motherfucker. I should probably turn on some other music as well, not just my own, but it's promising, it's a good looking player and it works, so I'm quite happy with that. Oh well. Thanks for watching guys. I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye-bye. That probably just makes it worth the price. <laughs> I can see what time remains of the track, man. Oh. That's epic stuff. It really is. Okay, I've been playing a lot of tracks now, and I'm pretty excited, pretty pleased. I'm pretty sure this is my new player right here, so... Pipey Freaks, thank you very much. But I thought I'd share one track with you guys, because I'm not, pretty sure I'm not going to be uh, copyright infringement fucked on that one. Uh, it's uh, World of Warcraft Wrath of the Lich King. Let's just play this for you guys. On this, have to turn down the volume on this one a little bit. The guys who know me, the guys who really watch this channel, know which song I'm gonna play now. Oh, yeah. Excellent. 
Okay, here we go. Already there, I notice it. It's a sort of a it's a sort of a more sharpness to this player. It's more bam bam bam. Where the other player from Nod almost sounds like the music is underwater. But with this new one and the new cables, of course. Let's not forget those. Everything is more crisp, more clear. I don't know how else to describe it, really. That is so immensely beautiful. Hello guys, what's going on? Um, it's been a couple of days since I did that test now, and um, the player is great, uh, no problem, uh, but it's a bit too bright, but I don't play the, the player, I got cables for 9,000 kroner, so that may be the problem, so I'm downgrading my cables now, and see, gonna see how that goes, so I'm gonna downgrade to approximately the same price range as my cables on my NOD maybe a bit more, maybe 1500 Corona um, better cables yeah it's a pretty good brand and the, uh, the cables are braided so and they also have a nice sort of black red uh, crossing to them so but Excellent player, I love the player, so no problem there. I'm just gonna downgrade the cables a bit so I don't get the pippity pop everywhere in my ears when I hear music. Yeah. 
Well, uh, thanks for staying uh, that, that long. Uh, that video lasted 30 minutes or something like that, so... Nice! So, have a coke on me, dude. Uh, yeah, let me just go check. I gotta reward you. Yeah, because you watched my video all, day, all this time. So, you gotta get a reward for that. Yeah, um, let me just switch on the light here. Yeah. I'm gonna give you a coke. Yeah. Look at all this junk. Yeah, what the hell. Yeah, so there's a Coke. <laughs> yeah, enjoy. Yeah, it's yours. Just just go get it. Yeah.